Okay. Hey guys, somebody asked me to make a video for them to show them how to change the color of an image. So I took a simple image. Um, it was actually a brush, and I just made, you know, a pink star. To change the color of it, most clip art isn't going to be just one color. Um, there's going to be some variation. So it's not just click this, click this. Um, and you're done. Not at least not that I know. I mean, but anyway, so you go to select by color, click the color, go to colors, color colorify, and then choose the color that you want to change it to. Click okay, and it changes the color. But when you select none and you scroll in some, uh, let's go in even further. See, you can still see some of the lighter pink that was on the edges, so you have to do it again by color, click the little pink box, and then colors, colorify, and if you want a color that's not showing on your palette, you just go in here, and you can choose it by HTML is the easiest for people, they'll just look up the color they want, or you can just click in here, you know, and choose the color that you want it to be and click OK and that'll show up here and then you click OK and it changed the color. And you can see there's still a couple of small ones on a simple thing like this maybe four times five times max is what you should have to do to get it all complete and then just select none go back to just hundred percent make sure that it looks right and then you just save it. Um, this one is a little more complicated because it has more shades and they've done for some god awful unknown reason there's a lot of different shades along the edges so you're still going to do the same thing but you'll see what I'm talking about when I do this big one um, blue see all these there's it may look like it's the same shade of pink but it is not the same shade of pink. Like when you go in closer, see how there's quite a few different colors? So if you're making a drastic change in color, it's gonna you're gonna notice it more. Um, but it, it still doesn't take long. It's super simple to do and super quick to do. Um, but the better quality of picture that you have, you know, this has a lot of noise around the edges of everything like everything and I guess you could try to use um, a noise filter um, or you could you know go in and despeckle and, and try these things sharpen it up to get rid of some of that noise in the picture um, if you can't get rid of it see how that's showing all of the noise and stuff you could I suppose just go in and do it by with a brush you know just like choose one of your brushes and and just get one of the like solid colored ones or you know rectangle square whatever and you can go in that way and recolor it I just made that wicked small didn't I um, no, it's way too big. But you see what I'm saying? Like you could just go in and and color it because you have it selected by color. It's not going to bleed over into other stuff, you know. So you can just do it like this with whatever your top color is right here. And to change that, you just click it and same way. Uh, and then you can select none, select by color, pick that, go back to your brush color it in you know if you want shading or, or whatever on it or um, then you can change the color you know as you go into it and then select none select by color do it again find another one that you know another little one in there go back to your brush it's just I guess whichever way you prefer to do it so I hope that was helpful if not you know, you guys can always ask questions in the comments.
I'll try to answer it the best that I can. If you need another video thrown up, I'll try to get it up as quick as I can. Um, but that's it. It's really, you know, easy peasy. And you just save it as everything.